How could it be 20 something all alone still? Not a thing in my name. Ain't got nothing running from love, only no fear. That's me, Miss 20 something. Ain't got nothing running from love, wish you were here. Stuck in a 20 something. I call them 20 something. But God bless them 20 something. Hoping my 20 somethings won't end. Hoping to keep the rest of my friends. Praying them 20 somethings don't kill me. Kill me. Good morning, friends. It is 8.17. I am getting ready to attend a workshop event. It has a couple guest speakers. It's basically like a whole wellness, growth, woman development workshop that my friend is a part of. And I'm very, very excited to attend to support her, but also I want to network a little bit i want to put myself out there so i'm gonna get ready for that i'm gonna have to hurry because it starts at nine and it's a 20 minute walk these rings love i got them at i think it's called all beats in downtown toronto queen street it looks like it's a chrome thingy i do want to get a little bit more into the jewelry side of fashion getting better at developing my aesthetic especially since there's so much inspiration around me. Fun topic to discuss would be how to spend time alone and have fun with yourself. It sounds so silly, but it did start with going to the gym alone because that's basically self-care on your own. So it started from there for me and I slowly started to branch out. I went to a Doja Cat concert alone, as we saw previously. Went to a jazz bar alone. I go to cafes alone. Really want to go to a movie alone. One thing that really helped me, trying not to be so fixated on being perceived <laughs> in terms of how people see us. What we can control is how we express ourselves, react to being perceived, and how we react to how it affects us. A great way to practice this is social media. I think social media can be very fun. I think it can be a place where you express yourself. I believe I have somewhat good boundaries when it comes to social media. Obviously, I am a consumer, so there's a couple things that I fall into. Recently, I found that being private is actually amazing, like underrated. It has helped me significantly with my mental health. So I do post here and there, obviously, especially on Instagram, because Instagram is probably one of my favorite platforms. I love posting stories. Instead of posting pictures of myself or selfies i used to do that a lot i don't as often anymore i think i was just looking for validation i was doing it in a way to build up more insecurities because it is fun to post a selfie here and there sometimes you just gotta eat i like to do it every so often now because it's kind of like gatekeeping but in a controlled way now my main thing is posting more aesthetic pictures especially in the city there's so much to see there's so much that i notice i like to show people that i like to show people what i see a lot of people have been really perceptive towards it it makes me more relatable I'm like showing people things i'm i'm giving something to look at it helps me feel better about how i think people perceive me showing my interests showing what i like without necessarily being too forward with it the good thing about social media is that you can actively control how people perceive you and be very very negative it can seem like things are one thing when it's really not when you flip it on a positive note 
You can control how people perceive you in terms of how you express yourself. In my head, the way I want people to perceive me is, hey, this is really cool. This is what I like. This is what I'm into. I like this. And this is kind of me. Or at least this resonated with me. Because now that I'm posting less selfies, making less like physical posts about me, throw off the internal or like my personality my style which is still also me so that's one way that i've been playing around with perception and self-expression you know hit that point where you're like actually i don't care what anyone thinks about me on social media it gets so much easier from there <laughs> I am about to go out for dinner. I did want to show you guys what I got. So I went to a little workshop to support my friend. She is a Reiki healer. Very interesting yet inspiring experience. It mixed in spirituality and holistic health together with business and aspiration and being a woman and i thought it was really really cool i had a great time i wanted to put myself out there once again i'm doing these things alone i did want to show you guys my little goodie bag because i thought it would be fun brand called high on love more like a self-love sexual health brand which i found really really interesting all of these sponsors and products are woman owned which are really cool i got a lip gloss for couples it's just a plumping gloss smells like cherries we talked about skincare as well which is really cool i loved how it touched on what it feels like to be a woman it catered towards the soul spirituality the physical self um, we also have a yoga pass <laughs> sleep mask which is so fun because i was gonna get mine a long time ago i also got a day pass to this high-end gym in toronto it's called Equinox. I've heard about this before. I also got Retinol Renewal Eye Masks, which is really cool. And one of the speakers actually was talking about Korean beauty and Korean skincare. And her main goal was to show women that taking care of your physical self will inspire you to feel more confident, feel more ready to take on the day, take on your dreams and all your goals. And that's why I really love this workshop. So that I get got some, I got some tea. And I also got some um, some Korean skincare products. But that's my little haul. I'm gonna take you guys to dinner. I'm very excited. I've seen a lot of good things on TikTok, which I'm really excited about. It's called Mandy Salad. Yes, I guess it's just literally elevated salad.
a beautiful sunny day i'm so excited it's finally starting to feel like spring thankfully in canada we didn't have that bad of a winter i am running this club called sweat and tonic i've been working out with them because i got some free classes honestly i'm obsessed like i'm i understand the whole pilates hype train that tiktok was talking about so right now four different reservations coming up on thursday i reserved a spot for vinyasa flow and then on friday it is international women's day and also happy eternal sunshine release so i booked a class a hit pilates class with ariana grande and house music at 8 30 a.m and then i have this reiki healing thingy that i'm hopefully trying to get into and then the last class i have here it's on wednesday for another pilates class so i have quite a bit of yoga and pilates in here i tried a booty hit class yesterday and i died because i had to run on the treadmill i fucking hate i sorry i hate running on the treadmill i suck at it and my joints like i don't have proper form so i'm killing my joints over time a late start to my day it's almost 9 30. do you like my phone background this is the picture from my window isn't that insane like it still hasn't registered to me how lucky i am it has but it hasn't you know I've had a pretty hard week, especially when it came to my binge eating habits, um, but now I'm feeling a little bit better. I find that this always happens around my, the time of my period. My appetite is through the roof. And then once I get my period or once it passes, I get into this phase where I don't have an appetite at all and I'm under eating. Very dangerous because I'm like extreme and then I'm nothing. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to cope with it. Really, really enjoying the Pilates and yoga. And I do want to incorporate a little bit more cardio into my routine. So that's when the sweat and tonic classes come in. And I'm probably just going to continue going to the gym um, to do strength training specifically for my booty. I just love the gym atmosphere. The gym has always been a home to me. Mm -hmm. 